fairy would. Do you know the kind? There, everything appears ordinary. But if you take a closer look, you start seeing real wonders. These woods, full of wonders, were where a little hedgehog lived. The fairy woods were very big, really quite enormous. Can you imagine woods with no end in sight? The little hedgehog didn't know where the woods ended either, even though he had been living there for a long time, ever since the end of last summer. But he knew a lot about the wood's inhabitants, as well as its rules and traditions. For example, the baby animals had a tradition of meeting in the meadow in summer and playing in the fresh air. They gathered ripe, sweet-smelling raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries, as well as nourishing edible mushrooms. It is very important to distinguish them from inedible ones. Inedible mushrooms may be poisonous and bad to eat. Every baby animal in the meadow was aware of this, and the little hedgehog knew it too. The baby animals learned all these things from the wise raccoon. He knew everything in the world and could answer any question. Therefore, everybody called him the Wise Raccoon. When the sun went to bed and gave its place in the sky to the moon and stars, the Wise Raccoon used to teach the baby animals to make fires in a way that avoided harming the woods. All baby animals were very responsible at following the wise raccoon's advice since the fairy woods were their home and they had to protect it. Even the youngest ones realized that it would never do to play with the fire. While the dry twigs were crackling pleasantly in the fire, the baby animals were taking their places around it very close to each other to hear the wise raccoon better. He started telling the youngsters exciting bedtime stories. The little hedgehog really enjoyed these stories. The dreams he then had were especially bright and sweet. Do you like to listen to bedtime stories, too? Also, the little hedgehog loved his friends. A little squirrel, a bunny, a small beaver, a young frog, and a tiny mouse. He had been friends with them for a long time, since last summer. They often made up funny stories together. And then, one day, an utterly strange animal appeared in the meadow. He looked very unusual. The little hedgehog had never seen him in the meadow, or even in the whole of the woods, which was very big, as you remember. The little hedgehog knew a bear, a wolf, a fox, and even a unicorn. As it was a fairy wood, unicorns lived there too, of course. On hot days, they loved to fly to the waterfall near the lake in the woods 
to play in the emerald green grass and vivid multicolored flowers of the meadow. Indeed, the animals from all over the fairy woods, even from the farthest parts of it, enjoyed gathering there. And the little hedgehog asked them all about the strange animal, but they had nothing to say about it. He looked so strange that the inhabitants of the fairy woods were hesitant to speak to him or make friends with him. The hedgehog noticed that the stranger was not only unusual, but also very sad. He didn't run in the meadow with the other baby animals chasing sun dogs, and he didn't run in the race to the old oak tree with them. He never tried to catch raindrops with bellflowers, never jumped happily in the puddles after the rain. And when the wise raccoon was telling his stories by the fire, he seemed not to hear them, but sadly watched the faraway stars. And the stars seemed to twinkle at him for an answer. The little hedgehog felt pity for the strange youngster, and he decided to make friends with the animal to help him become happy. When all the other baby animals, with the hedgehog's friends among them, were playing together in the meadow, the new kid was sitting off to the side, wistfully watching their joy. The little hedgehog came up to the sad stranger after his walk and sat there for almost the whole day. They didn't even talk to each other. The next day, the little hedgehog asked the quiet little animal why he was always sad and didn't play with the others. But the new animal looked at the hedgehog as if he didn't understand what he was talking about. Then the hedgehog remembered the wise raccoon's advice. If you want to connect with somebody, be inventive. You need to try various methods until you manage to get through. Suddenly, the little hedgehog got an idea. He started drawing various pictures on the ground with a twig and showed them to the stranger. The little hedgehog drew the fairy woods, some strong tall trees, beautiful lawns, the lake, and the waterfall. All the animals of the woods he drew and he said the names of all the things he drew. This is a butterfly. It looks like a flower and can fly, said the hedgehog, showing his picture to the stranger. And this is a deer. It is very fast and strong. At last, many days later, when the hedgehog drew the moon and stars, the strange animal smiled suddenly. The hedgehog said that they were stars, and the animal gave a nod and answered that his home was there. At that moment, the little hedgehog realized why he had never met such an animal before. The youngster had never lived in the woods before. But thanks to the hedgehog's efforts, the unusual little animal started to understand the language that the inhabitants of the fairy woods spoke and how to speak it. 
So the little hedgehog offered to be friends, and the baby animal happily agreed. He told the hedgehog that he had flown to the fairy woods from a distant planet. He used to wonder what there was beyond his planet. He wanted to explore the things he couldn't see from the window of his house. The alien baby animal enjoyed the fairy woods tremendously. He had never seen such tall trees or the variety of beautiful flowers before. The hedgehog's new friend also enjoyed the wild berries very much. They were not only tasty, the hedgehog explained, but also healthy. They helped you improve your health. That's what the wise raccoon always said. But when the baby animal had decided to fly back home where he had left his family, dad, mom, brother, and sister, it turned out that his spaceship wasn't working. The youngster couldn't fix the ship himself, and everybody around him was speaking a different language. He couldn't ask the woods folk for help. That was why the baby animal was becoming sadder and sadder each day. But now that he had made friends with the little hedgehog, things were different. The hedgehog called together all his friends and the wise raccoon. Together, they found a way to fix their alien friend's spaceship. The youngster was happy indeed to have these new friends and thanked them for their help. He was missing his family, even though the fairy woods were so wonderful. The best engineers of the fairy woods, the beavers, carefully examined the alien spaceship and identified the damage. First, the beavers drew up a plan. Then, they made all the necessary calculations and collected the spare parts needed for the spaceship's repair. And then, all the inhabitants of the fairy woods set to work in order to help the hedgehog's star friend to fly back home as soon as possible. You know, when your friends help, the work can be done very fast. Very soon, the spaceship was ready to travel again. And the youngster, who had made friends with all the baby animals, could fly home. The hedgehog presented his new friend with a goodbye basket of berries. He advised his friend to make berry jam and remember this wonderful summer for a long, long time while enjoying jam and tea during cold winter evenings. The new friend promised to do this and forever remember his friends from the fairy woods. When the young alien was ready for his long trip, he came up to the little hedgehog and said, Thank you for presenting me with the most important thing in the world, friendship. There are no great distances that can prevent us from being friends. Just look at the sky and the stars will twinkle at you. Remember that I think about you and send you my warmest star regards. So now, every night, 
The hedgehog looks at the stars and feels happy because his far away friend thinks about him and sends him greetings and wishes him the sweetest dreams. And now I also wish you wonderful dreams, dear child. So close your eyes and start your magic dream. Good night.